we're going to see in this video the perspective transformation so let's see an example as I have only one webcam I, I need to move this one down okay maybe a little bit more here we have I have an A4 sheets and as you can see the more you go deep the smaller it gets so this is the perspective it's like our eyes see the things the farther the things are the smaller we see them so we want to transform this uh, paper so from the perspective to make it look like it's it's just in front of us like two-dimensional uh, I cannot take it out okay anyway uh, so this we will take only the paper and all the rest will disappear so let's see how to do that uh, I'm going to close this one and we're going to write the code from scratch so let's first import cv2 import numpy as np then we have our camera cap equals cv2.video capture zero and zero is the first webcam if you have more it can be a different number then the loop while true underscore frame equals cap dot read then let's show the frame cv2 dot im show frame frame then a key event so that we can close the frame pressing some key on our keyboard cv2.wait key one if key equals 27 then we break the loop and 27 is the s key on the keyboard then cap.release and cv2.destroy all windows let's see if the code is correct okay the code is correct now we are going soon to define four points first we are going to take top left top right bottom left and bottom right so let's get them I'm going to create four circle just to to visualize them on the screen it's not necessary this to create the circles but I want first to see where the points are collocated exactly so see to that circle circle on the frame then the center now I'm going to put some random number like 100 and 100 the radius let's say 5 pixel the color I wanted to make it red so it will be BGR 0 blue 0 green and 255 of red thickness minus 1 because I want to fill the circle of red color okay here is the circle I want to move it here to get the, the paper so a little bit more down and on the right so it can be something like more on the right let's say 140 pixel more on the bottom 110 even more 155 and 120 and one oh, okay okay first points good then let's take the second point top right I copy this one so the position from the top is still the same I'm going to change just this one let's say something like 480 oh nice one really lucky then bottom left bottom left 
so will be from the left only let's say 20 pixel from the top 475 and if you have our time choosing the numbers it's good to know the size of the image so you can do something like print emg uh, actually frame dot shape and you see this is the height 480 pixel and this is the width 640 pixel and let's see this point okay good one and now let's define the last point last point um, Will be still 475 pixels from the top and here let's say again 480 no actually much more like 620 oh lucky in this one okay now we get four points now i'm going to use all these four points to create the matrix for the perspective transformation so we have points i will call this uh, points one pts one equals to np dot float 32 then brackets and we're going to put four different points so again brackets again let's put the first one 155 120 then second one third one and fourth one this one 481 and 20 and be sure you copy them in this exactly order it's important to respect always the order first top left always first top left then top right then bottom left and finally bottom right once we have these points we need to create a second array and this is the the size of the uh, of our new image np.float32 and we're going to do something similar top left is zero zero then top right is I want to to make it 400 of width so it's 400 and zero then bottom left zero i want to make it of height 600 zero 600 and finally bottom right will be 400 and 600 as we have these two arrays with the points we can create uh, we can get the the matrix so matrix it's equals to cv2 dot get perspective transform first we put points one and two finally we can create a transformation so we have a result it's equals to cv2 dot warp perspective First, we need to define our image. So, in this case, we are going to work on the frame matrix, and finally, the size of the image. So, it will be 600 of width and 400 of height. Actually, it's the opposite. Sorry. Okay, yeah, 400 of width and 600 of height. And let's show the result cv2 dot im show perspective transformation first and result uh, let me 
point okay oh good one so you can see we have our paper here and again here it it looks like if it's two dimensional if you're looking it uh, from the front now we we lost a little bit of the proportion we can change for example the size of the image let's make it a little bit larger like 500 500 500 here um, I'm going to get it from the other screen so whatever I type it's in real time um, hello Whatever. Oh, yeah, I'm tapping from the opposite. Anyway, uh, good to know this. It, it works with, for everything. Uh, now I take a book. And you can do the same also if you have the image in this position. You take, for example, first uh, actually top left top right bottom left and bottom right and you will get the same result like if you have it in front um, and this is the, the result like if you use it for so you can use it in a different way this this look a bit awkward uh, and probably it's used on some software for some video effects, like as you can see my face. And that's all for this video.